In the depths of the world's most haunted waters, a mystery shrouded in history and the supernatural awaits those brave enough to set sail into the unknown. Join us on a journey across the turbulent seas, where tales of ghost ships, spectral apparitions, and maritime enigmas come to life. These waters hold secrets that have confounded sailors and storytellers for centuries. From the eerie mists of the Bermuda Triangle, to the stormy depths of the Devil's Sea, the world's oceans have borne witness to countless vessels lost to the relentless forces of nature and the unexplained. These waters hold secrets that have confounded sailors and storytellers for centuries. From the eerie mists of the Bermuda Triangle to the stormy depths of the Devil's Sea, the world's oceans have borne witness to countless vessels lost to the relentless forces of nature and the unexplained. Prepare to be enthralled by the chilling tales of phantom ships, haunted lighthouses, and the lingering souls of long-lost mariners. Explore the legends and folklore that have endured through generations, passed down like maritime heirlooms. As we delve into these mystifying stories, we'll examine the eerie occurrences, supernatural sightings, and the inexplicable phenomena that have left even the most skeptical among us, questioning the boundaries of our reality. So, fasten your seatbelts, secure your life jackets, and join us on an extraordinary voyage through the enigmatic world of chasing ghost ships, the world's most haunted waters. Prepare to set sail on an unforgettable adventure, where the line between fact and folklore blurs, and where the unknown becomes an alluring and spine-tingling reality. The Flying Dutchman is a legendary ghost ship that has been a part of maritime folklore for centuries. It's known for being a phantom vessel that is doomed to sail the seas forever without ever reaching port. The legend of the Flying Dutchman has been popularized and romanticized in literature, music, and various forms of media. The legend of the Flying Dutchman is said to have originated in the 17th century. It is often associated with Captain Hendrik van der Decken, a Dutch sea captain who allegedly defied nature and attempted to sail around the Cape of Good Hope, a notoriously treacherous route. According to the legend, the ship and its crew were cursed due to the captain's stubbornness and blasphemy. As the story goes, the ship encountered a violent storm, and despite the crew's pleas, Captain Vanderdecken refused to turn back. In a fit of anger, he swore to press on even if it meant sailing until Judgment Day. It was this defiance and blasphemy that led to the ship's eternal curse. The ship was condemned to sail the seas without ever being able to make port. This curse meant the crew would never find rest, and the ship would be forever lost. The Flying Dutchman is often described as a spectral vessel. Its tattered and ghostly sails illuminated by an eerie, supernatural light. Witnesses who claimed to have seen the ship spoke of overwhelming feelings of dread. It was believed that encountering the Flying Dutchman was a bad omen, and it was seen as a harbinger of doom. Over the years, there have been many reported sightings of the Flying Dutchman by sailors from various parts of the world. The legend of the ship has made its way into literature, opera, films, and other forms of popular culture. It has become one of the most enduring and recognizable tales of the sea. One variation of the legend suggests that Captain Vanderdecken and his crew are not without hope. It is said that the captain is perpetually searching for a soul of pure heart, who will forgive his blasphemy and lift the curse finally allowing the ship to find peace. The Flying Dutchman is a symbol of the enduring fascination and mystery surrounding the sea, as well as a reminder of the age-old tales and superstitions that have shaped maritime lore. It continues to be a captivating and enduring legend, and its spectral image remains etched in the imaginations of those who venture out onto the open ocean. The Mary Celeste, also known as the Marie Celeste, is a famous ghost ship in maritime history. Its story revolves around the mysterious and unexplained circumstances of its discovery, which has puzzled and intrigued people for over a century. The Mary Celeste was a brigantine, a two-masted sailing vessel, built in 1861 in Spencer's Island, Nova Scotia, Canada. On November 7, 1872, the ship was discovered adrift in the Atlantic Ocean, by a British ship named the De Gratia. The Mary Celeste was in seaworthy condition, with its sails still set, a full cargo of alcohol, and the crew's personal belongings still on board. However, the entire crew and the captain's family were missing, 
and they were never seen or heard from again. The discovery of the Mary Celeste sparked one of the greatest maritime mysteries of all time. There were no signs of a struggle or violence on the ship. The lifeboat was missing, suggesting that some of the crew had abandoned the ship voluntarily, but it was strange that they would leave the vessel in such a seaworthy state. Numerous theories have been proposed to explain the disappearance of the Mary Celeste's crew. Some suggest that they may have abandoned the ship due to a perceived emergency or a malfunctioning chronometer that caused them to believe they were off course. Others have speculated about piracy, mutiny, or an encounter with sea monsters, but there is little concrete evidence to support any of these theories. The crew of the De Gratia, which discovered the Mary Celeste, was skeptical of the circumstances and decided to tow the vessel to Gibraltar. An inquiry was launched to determine what happened to the crew, and the court found no evidence of foul play. The inquiry concluded that there was insufficient evidence to determine the fate of the crew. The Mary Celeste story has endured as one of the most famous maritime mysteries, capturing the imagination of writers, historians, and filmmakers. It has inspired numerous books, movies, and documentaries that explore the possible explanations for the crew's disappearance. The mystery of the Mary Celeste remains unsolved, and it continues to be a subject of fascination and speculation. Despite numerous theories and investigations, the fate of the crew and the reasons behind their abandonment of the ship remain shrouded in enigma, making the Mary Celeste a true icon of maritime history and intrigue. The Orang Madan is a legendary ghost ship with a dark and mysterious history. While there is debate about the authenticity of the story, it has become a famous maritime legend. In June 1947, a series of distress messages were picked up by multiple ships and radio stations. The messages reportedly came from the Dutch freighter Aurang Madan, which was sailing in the waters of the Strait of Malacca in the Indian Ocean. The messages were troubling, describing the entire crew and captain as deed or dying and ending with the chilling words, I die. Rescue vessels, including the Silver Star, responded to the distress signals and eventually located the Urang Medan. Upon approaching the ship, they found it adrift and there were no signs of life on board. The crew appeared to be dead, their bodies scattered around the ship in various states of distress. Even the ship's dog was found lifeless. As the crew from the Silver Star boarded the Urang Medan to investigate, they reported eerie sights. The bodies of the crew members were frozen in horrifying, contorted expressions, as if they had died in agony. There were no apparent injuries or signs of violence. The ship's logbook and other documents were missing. The situation became even more bizarre when a fire broke out in the ship's hold, prompting the rescue crew to quickly evacuate the Urang Medan. Shortly after they had left the ship, there was an explosion, and the vessel sank into the depths of the ocean. The story of the Urang Medan has sparked numerous theories and speculations. Some suggest that the ship may have been involved in illegal activities, such as smuggling chemicals or wartime materials, which led to a deadly accident. Others have proposed theories involving paranormal or supernatural forces, such as ghosts, aliens, or deadly gases from the ship's cargo. The historical accuracy of the Urang Medan story has been the subject of debate. Despite various versions of the story, there is limited concrete evidence to verify the details. Many accounts are based on second or third-hand information, making it challenging to separate fact from fiction. The legend of the Orang Medan remains one of the most enduring and captivating maritime mysteries. It has inspired countless tales, books, and discussions, leaving the true events of that fateful day in 1947 shrouded in enigma and speculation. The Octavius is a legendary ghost ship that has intrigued maritime enthusiasts and storytellers for many years. Its tale is one of eerie discovery and mystery. The Octavius, an English trading ship, was purportedly discovered in 1775 by a whaling ship called the Herald in the Arctic Ocean. What made this discovery so remarkable was that the Octavius was found drifting in icy waters far from its intended route. The crew of the Herald approached the Octavius and, to their astonishment, found the entire crew of the ship frozen in death. This included the captain, who was still sitting at his desk in the captain's cabin, pen in hand, 
as if in the middle of writing a log entry. The crew of the Octavius had apparently succumbed to the extreme cold, as the ship had become trapped in the Arctic ice. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Octavius story is the log entry that was discovered on board. It was dated 1762, indicating that the ship had been drifting in the Arctic for over a decade. The entry mentioned the ship being trapped in the ice, the crew's dire circumstances, and the apparent loss of hope. The crew of the Herald, after making the unsettling discovery, reportedly attempted to tow the Octavius back to civilization. However, as the two ships moved through the icy waters, the Octavius suddenly broke free from the tow line and disappeared into the mist. The crew of the Herald never saw the Octavius again. The story of the Octavius has become the stuff of legend, with numerous accounts and retellings adding to its mystique. It's considered one of the earliest ghost ship legends and has inspired various works of fiction and exploration. As with many maritime legends, there is some debate about the accuracy and authenticity of the Octavius story. Some versions of the tale suggest that the story may have been exaggerated or altered over time. However, the enduring fascination with the story continues to keep the legend alive. The Octavius remains one of the most captivating and enduring maritime mysteries. Whether the story is entirely true or embellished, it serves as a reminder of the perilous and mysterious nature of the sea and continues to capture the imaginations of those who are drawn to tales of the unexplained. The Kaz-2, also known as Kaz-2, the Ghost Yacht, is a real-life maritime mystery that garnered significant attention in 2007. The story of the Kaz-2 is both eerie and perplexing. The Kaz-2 was a 9.8-meter, 32-foot, catamaran sailing yacht registered in Queensland, Australia. It was owned by three friends, Derek Batten, Peter Tunstead, and James Tunstead. The three men were experienced sailors, and they set out on a voyage from Queensland to the Great Barrier Reef in April 2007. On April 18, 2007, the Kaz-2 was found drifting off the coast of Australia in the Great Barrier Reef, near the Whitsunday Islands. What made this discovery particularly unsettling was the fact that the yacht appeared to be fully operational, with its engine running, navigation equipment functioning, and all sails up. Yet, there was no sign of the three men on board. The inside of the yacht also held perplexing clues. There were half-eaten meals, a laptop computer still on, and personal items such as wallets and IDs, all suggesting that the crew had left in haste. Life jackets and safety equipment were undisturbed. The radio was tuned to an emergency channel, but no distress call had been made. A search and rescue operation was launched to locate the missing men, but despite extensive efforts, they were never found. The mystery of their disappearance deepened as investigators tried to piece together what had happened. It was suggested that one of the crew members may have gone overboard and that the others had attempted a rescue, but the exact sequence of events remained unclear. Various theories and speculations emerged about the fate of the Kaz-2's crew. Some suggested that a sudden squall or freak accident had caused them to go overboard. Others raised questions about the possibility of a pirate attack despite the lack of evidence supporting this theory. The mystery remains unsolved to this day. The Kaz-2 story continues to be a subject of fascination and speculation, and it serves as a reminder of the unexplained mysteries that can occur on the open sea. Despite investigations and theories, the true circumstances of the crew's disappearance remain a maritime enigma. As our journey through the eerie waters of chasing ghost ships, the world's most haunted waters, draws to a close, we can't help but marvel at the stories of maritime mysteries, spectral sailors, and ghostly vessels that have haunted the oceans for centuries. From the foreboding mists of the Bermuda Triangle to the chilling tales of the Flying Dutchman, these stories serve as a reminder that the sea still holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. While some may dismiss these legends as mere superstitions, they continue to captivate the imagination and spark a sense of wonder and curiosity about the unexplained. The mysteries of the deep and the ghostly echoes of long-lost ships remain a testament to the boundless depths of human curiosity and the enduring power of folklore. So, as we conclude our voyage through the world's most haunted waters, 
remember that the ocean still hides secrets and stories that are as enigmatic and haunting as the ghostly ships that sail within them. And just perhaps, the next time you find yourself on the water's edge, you'll wonder if you might catch a glimpse of a spectral sail, or hear the echoes of a long-forgotten mariner's tale, reminding us that the world's oceans are not just filled with water, but with a sense of mystery and wonder that endures through the ages.